So in today's tutorial, we're going to create a flexible smooth zoom in Final Cut Pro 10. So to get started, we're going to take our playhead to the center between two clips. And here we're going to press shift plus the arrow left on our keyboard to skip 10 frames at a time. We're going to do this two times. So we skip 20 frames. Then we're going to make a cut and move to the center between the two clips and do the same thing the other way. But here we're going to use the arrow right. Now we're going to select the last clip only and change the scale to 25%. Now we need to put this clip into a new compounded clip. You can do this by right clicking, selecting a new compound clip or press option G on your keyboard. Now that we have this in a new compounded clip, we're going to go over to the effects tab and search for Collider Tile. Then we're going to apply the effect to the compounded clip. Here we're going to select the knobs on the bottom and the sides to evenly mirror the image. So it should look something like this. Now to make sure that everything stays in place, we're going to turn this into a new compounded clip by right clicking and then choose new compound clip or use option G on our keyboard. Now to make it easier for ourselves, we're going to take the playhead and move in between the two layers. Then we're going to select both of the layers and turn them into a new compounded clip. And to make things a little bit easier, we can now place a marker exactly where we have our playhead. This is to indicate the center between the two clips. Then we're going to move over to the transform tool and select crop. Here we're going to select the Ken Burns effect and we're only going to adjust the end part. This has to be at a scale of 400%. So to make this a little bit easier, we're going to hold down option on our keyboard whilst we adjust the red square. This will keep it centered whilst we adjust the position. Now, if we take a look at the top here, we can also see the scale being 400%. So that means we're in the right position. And to make it a little bit smoother, we're going to right click on the screen and choose ease in and out. So we now have our finished transition, but it looks a little bit off. It goes a little bit too slow. So here's the tricks to make this flexible and adjustable according to the duration of the zoom that you desire. So we're going to go to a position at the beginning and use shift B on our keyboard to create a speed ramp. Then we're going to go to the end of the clip and do the exact same thing. Use shift plus B on your keyboard to create a cut in the speed. Then we're going to select the drop down in the middle and choose speed fast. And here you can decide the speed. We're going to go with a 400% speed increase. So we're going to select 4x. You can also adjust this later on by taking the handle and drag it to be faster or slower. Now to make the transition smoother, you can adjust the gray bars to smoothen out the cuts between the two different speeds. If you feel the transition is going a little bit too slow, you can take the right handle and drag towards the left to create a faster speed in your transition. Now, once we're happy with the speed duration, we're going to apply some motion blur. And since we already have the marker in the middle, we know where the cut is. Now it's time to find the point where we want to have the beginning and ending to our motion blur. We can also leave markers here to make it a little bit easier for ourselves. Then we're going to go over to the effects tab and search for zoom. We're going to apply this to our clip and now we can use the markers on our compounded clip to create the motion blur. After applying motion blur, our transition is done. 